Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API 570 Piping Inspection Code in Service Inspection, Rating, Repair, and Alteration of Piping Systems. In this lecture, we will continue discuss Clauses 7 and we highlight important information contained items subclauses 7.3 newly installed piping systems or changes in service, 7.4 existing and replacement piping, and 7.5 MAWP determination. Newly installed piping systems or changes in service for new piping systems and piping systems for which service conditions are being changed. One of the following methods shall be employed to determine the probable rate of corrosion from which the remaining wall thickness at the time of the next inspection can be estimated. A corrosion rate for a piping circuit may be calculated from data collected by the owner, user on piping systems of similar material in comparable service and comparable operating conditions. b. If data for the same or similar service are not available, a corrosion rate for a piping circuit may be estimated from the owner, user's experience or from published data on piping systems in comparable service. If the probable corrosion rate cannot be determined by either method listed in item A or item B, the initial thickness measurement determinations shall be made after no more than three months of service by using non-destructive thickness measurements of the piping system. Corrosion monitoring devices, such as corrosion coupons or corrosion probes, may be useful in establishing the timing of these thickness measurements. Existing and replacement piping Corrosion rates shall be calculated on one of the methods identified in 7.1. For repaired or in-kind replacement piping. The corrosion rate shall be established based on the previous worst-case measured rate at the replacement location or the circuit average rate. If calculations indicate that an inaccurate rate of corrosion has been assumed, the rate to be used for the next period shall be adjusted to agree with the actual rate found. Maximum allowable working pressure, MAWP, determination, MAWP for the continued use of piping systems shall be established using the applicable code. For known materials, computations may be made if all the following essential details are known to comply with the principles of the applicable code. Upper and or lower temperature limits for specific materials. Quality of materials and workmanship. Inspection requirements. Reinforcement of openings. Any cyclical service requirements. For unknown materials. Computations may be made assuming. The lowest grade material and joint efficiency in thane the applicable code. When the MAWP is recalculated. Use the actual thickness of the pipe wall as determined by inspection minus twice the estimated corrosion loss before the date of the next inspection for recalculating the MAWP. T equals T actual minus two times corrosion loss by date of next inspection. So, T equals T actual minus two times observed corrosion rate times next planned inspection. Allowance shall be made for the other loadings in accordance with the applicable code. The applicable code allowances for pressure and temperature variations from the MAWP are permitted provided all of the associated code criteria are satisfied. MAWP determination by use of the corrosion half-life concept. API 570 permits the use of the simple Barlow formula to determine the required wall thickness and MAWP for in-service piping. Where T is the pressure design thickness for internal pressure, P is the internal design gauge pressure of the pipe, D is the outside of the pipe, 
S is the allowable unit stress at the design temperature from a 1A table of ASMEB 31.3. E is the longitudinal quality factor from table A1B of ASMEB 31.3. Example 1. A low reading of 0 0.200 inch was found on a nominal pipe size 8. Standard wall A53 grade B. Electric resistance welding pipe with longitudinal quality factor. E equals 0 0.85. If the line operates at 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and the material allowable stress is 14,500 psi. What is the current maximum allowable working pressure? Solution example 1. The given information is shown below. Task. The current maximum allowable working pressure. Solution. MAWP equals 2 SCT divided by D. Plug the given information into formula. So, the answer is a 571 psi. Example 2 A piping system has the following characteristics as shown on the table below. Given these data, what is the maximum allowable working pressure of this system? Solution Example 2 the given information is shown on the table below. Task. The maximum allowable working pressure of this system. Solution. Step 1. Calculate the estimated corrosion loss by date of next inspection. Step 2. Calculate the estimated thickness minus twice the estimated corrosion loss. Step 3 Calculate MAWP. So, MAWP equals 550 psi greater than design pressure. Conclusion. OK. Example 3 A piping system has the following characteristics as shown on the table below. Given these data, what is the maximum allowable working pressure of this system? Note that the example 3 is same as example 2 but the next planned inspection is increased to 7 years. Solution example 3 The given information is shown on the table below. Task the maximum allowable working pressure of this system. Solution. Step 1. Calculate the estimated corrosion loss by date of next inspection. Step 2. Calculate the estimated thickness minus twice the estimated corrosion loss. Step 3. Calculate MAWP. MAWP equals 450 psi less than design pressure. Conclusion. Must reduce inspection interval. Or determine that normal operating pressure will not exceed this new MAWP during the seventh year. Or renew the piping before the seventh year. Review questions. Question number one. For piping systems where service conditions have been changed. If data for the same or similar service is not available. A corrosion rate is estimated from the experience of the owner, operator or from. The answer is A. Question number 2. If the probable corrosion rate for a new piping system cannot be determined by the owner or user's experience, nor by published data. Is it acceptable to use corrosion monitoring devices? such as corrosion coupons or probes, to establish the timing for thickness measurements? The answer is C. Question number 3. Evaluation of record of the previous inspection reveals that thickness reading in the resulting calculation of corrosion rate were inaccurate. 
The rate to be used for the next period shall The answer is B. Question number 4. If a piping system is made up of unknown materials and computations must be made to determine the minimum thickness of the pipe, what can the inspector or the piping engineer de T establish the minimum thickness? The answer is A. Question number 5. A piping system has the following characteristics as shown on the table below. Given these data, what is the maximum allowable working pressure of this system? Note that the example 3 is same as example 2 but the next planned inspection is increased to 7 years. Solution question number 5. The given information is shown on the table below. Task. The maximum allowable working pressure of this system. Solution. Step 1. Calculate the estimated corrosion loss by date of next inspection. Step 2. Calculate the estimated thickness minus twice the estimated corrosion loss. Step 3. Calculate MAWP. So, the answer is a, 372 PSI. Solution Example 2. The given information is shown on the table below. Task. The maximum allowable working pressure of this system. Solution. Step 1. Calculate the estimated corrosion loss by date of next inspection. Step 2. Calculate the estimated thickness minus twice the estimated corrosion loss. Step 3. Calculate MAWP. So. MAWP equals 550 PSI greater than design pressure. Conclusion. OK. Question number 6. Which of these MAWP values is correct for a piping system designed at 380 PSI at 700 degrees Fahrenheit, having a 53 grade B seamless pipe, nominal pipe size equals 18 inch, latest OOT equals 0.28 inches, observed corrosion rate equals 0.005 inches per year, and the next inspection is in four years? Solution question number 6. The given information is shown below. Task. The maximum allowable working pressure of this system. Solution. Step 1. Calculate the estimated corrosion loss by date of next inspection. Step 2. Calculate the estimated thickness minus twice the estimated corrosion loss. Step 3. Calculate MAWP. So, the answer is D, 446 PSI. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile.